Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and today I saw in the App Store that there is Turbo Collage, Collage Creator and it's free for today only. I don't know how much it normally costs but uh, I thought it well worth having a look and seeing what we can do with it. It says on here that I can create stunning picture collages on my Mac. So I'm downloading that now. In fact it says it's already installed so let's have a look and see what we can do with it. Click on Turbo Collage, there we are, we're in there now. Well, I can go full screen with this, but I won't for the moment. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use Cinch, and I'm going to make it go sort of full screen. Sort of full screen that you can use where you can still see the menus and everything else as well, and it's easier for dragging and dropping things in. What do we do to get started with it? I don't really know. Well, let's try, first of all, with dragging a couple of pictures in there. So let's go to Finder. Let's go for seven. I'm going to drag them and drop them into the uh, application. That seems to be the place to put them. Okay, they're good. So now I've got the pictures in there, what can I do with them? Seems I can uh, turn them around if I want to and resize them. I'm just using the uh, magic trackpad here. If I move it round, it changes the orientation, the rotation of them. And if I move outwards with it as well, or inwards to where I started, then it is actually sort of changing the size of them as well. So. So obviously what you need to do is, once you've got this here, is to um, do a bit of spinning around of these photographs. Chopping them and changing them around a bit. And we've got this one here. And we'll go for a size. Well, you've got a few different sizes available there. And uh, they're all weird sort of looking sizes. It must be in inches. Why don't they give us millimetres or centimetres? 1024 by 768. I'll go for that size because it's a good size to put into the iPad and I'm going to set that. You can have a transparent background with this or you can uh, put a background picture in there. So let's select a picture for a background. We'll go for that one. I'll click on open. One of my HDR photographs. Let's move this over to one side a wee bit. Let's take this down here. That's a smaller cropped version of the harbour picture. Okay, so I've got a few pictures there, all uh, set up nicely on the picture space, as it were. And if I want to have uh, one of these in the front rather than the back, I can just take to move up. More actions over to the uh, right-hand side there. I can do a remix. I can set all picture rotations to zero if I want to. I'm not going to mess that at the moment. I could do a remix, see what happens there. Now I can choose picture borders on this, so I can have an instant photograph on there. That gives you a bit of a space at the bottom, and that's a bit of a waste that is, but it looks like you can change the border on it as well. I could have it as a postage stamp. Not many possibilities there. We can have shadows on there. Let's have some shadows. And we'll move the offset over to this side here. Can't see much effect there with the shadows. Maybe there's a little bit of shadow there over that side there, maybe. I've got iPad screen as my size there. I can have it in landscape or portrait. I can have a picture grid if I want to. I can have a mosaic. Or I can have a center frame. Or a zig mosaic. Let's try a zig mosaic and see what that looks like. Then I think I liked it the way it was before. I presume that if you have this one, then you can do things where you can change the size of stuff inside there so i can move the uh, picture around within that there okay so that's a zig mosaic and you can do some changes to the pictures within the spaces as well so that's not too bad let's go to uh, a mosaic we've got the uh, corners on here as rounded corners but you can use this one here to make it go to uh, uh, non-rounded corners and you can also change the spacing in between those two. So you could get rid of the spacing altogether. You could go for a completely transparent background if you want to. Or maybe if you want to, you could decide that it looks better if you have a black background. We'll change the spacing a little bit so that uh, comes up there. So that's pretty good. That's our mosaic settings. And we could have a picture grid. It's a little bit boring, isn't it? So let's uh, just change it back to our picture pile. Now, of course, it's uh, messed it all up, and I'll have to uh, take it back to the way it was before that. So, Now, it would be quite good if the mosaic did actually take into account some of the shapes of the pictures, but obviously it can't do that. I could take that and move that over there. Will that work? Yep, that's just swapped them over. That's quite good, isn't it? And there, I'm just bringing it down in size. That's all fairly good, really, isn't it? Add text, and I can type my text into this box here. So we've got a Deshevo van and other odd pictures. Got it so it's sensitive aligned at the moment. We've got the text color as black. 
the black doesn't show out the best so we're going to change that let's change the color to something a bit more oh that's lovely isn't it we'll have that one and you can change the opacity of that as well so this text shadows just the same as the shadows we had on the other thing doesn't seem to do an awful lot i think there probably could be a bit more ability to change things on some of our shadows there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to um, click on facebook share okay so there we have put the details in there for logging into facebook from within the application click on login allow permissions so we're going to allow that because that's what i want to do turbo collage for mac so my first collage made with turbo collage for mac which is free just for today and i think i do like it so let's share on facebook let's view collage on facebook so here we are in facebook and there you go i would say that i recommend this application and if you can get it today while well, it's free all well and good okay that's dave allen for mac 20 questions bye bye for now and i hope this has been useful to you don't forget to subscribe to the mac 20q videos so that you know when the next ones are due to come out. Bye bye now.